function of the one is now to return to the source, allowing a temporary dissemination of the code you carry, reinserting the prime program. After which you will be required to select from the matrix 23 individuals, 16 females, 7 male, to rebuild Zion. Failure to comply with this process will result in a cataclysmic system crash, killing everyone connected to the Matrix, which coupled with the extermination of Zion will ultimately result in the extinction of the entire human race. And that brings us back to the eugenics program. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this all the way around. The eugenics program was set up by this, this witch and lesbian named uh, uh, Margaret Sanders. Okay, she was linked to uh, uh, Alex, uh, Alistair Crawley, a top Satanist. And she's what you call the mother of Planned, Planned, uh, Planned Parenthood, and she came really out of England. All right. So they had a plan to destroy what they would call the black race. But it's deeper than the black race. All right? They found a gene that links to the children of Israel. And the aim is to destroy people with this particular gene. All right? Now, there's a guy uh, that I met about two and a half years ago. All right. He was also on the uh, Alex Jones show. His name is uh, uh, Boy Graves. And he died last year. May the Lord rest his soul. But he was living with AIDS for about 15 years. 15 well, they claim he had AIDS, but he found the patent to cure himself. There's a patent on the book, I mean, on, on the books of the U.S. patent that shows that they have a cure for AIDS. But they will not let that cure, they will not let that cure happen within the earth. Yes, boy, Grace. They will not let that cure happen within the United States. I'm going to get back to Sanders in a second. Boy Graves. So he figured that he's not going to let AIDS be a death sentence to him. He's a doctor. So he was able to get the cure outside of the United States. And it, it, it just took two saline drips. And, he stuck, and, and, and because of this, America didn't want to treat him. He did research, and his research, the more the research he did on AIDS, the more he realized that AIDS was not contracted from sexual intercourse. That's the lie they've been pushing with the STD program, which is also part of Planned Parenthood, which is also part of the eugenics program. Okay, people just, people don't just get diseases out of sexual intercourse. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, Sanger, I'm, excuse me, thank you, Margaret Sanger, yeah, I'm sorry. Her name is Margaret Sanger. So, people just don't get this out of the clear blue. He did the research and had a chart, and he sent me this chart while I was in the United States. And he tracked the eugenics program back to Margaret Sanger before it was called Planned Parenthood. All right. And after, you know, she worked for the program that would empower the woman to make the choice in the house. Now, she was a lesbian. So she has a problem against men anyway. And she was a witch. She had a problem against family. All right. So she orchestrated the program that would empower the woman. So in the late 1900s, you have what you would, with the, excuse me, the, the beginning of the 1900s, you have what you would call the uh, the 
woman's liberal movement. Okay? Then you had Susan B. Anthony, which was another, she was another lesbian. So this movement was to separate the woman and empower the woman over the man so that she can eventually make the decisions in the end time. She would be the one in which the government can play on the woman's emotions and execute their powers within the household.